All right, we're gonna demonstrate splicing a corner. And we're gonna use these light strip splicers and this pack right here, they have the uh, straight run piece. So that would be for just like right here on your baseboard. And then it also comes with your corner piece. And it also has a opener, which I'm a guitar player. So when I seen these in the bag, I was like, they come with guitar picks? <laughs> like, they come with guitar picks? Cool, man. So let me try one of these. I've never, I've never used one of these openers. Let me see how easy it is. Because I use my fingernail. Yeah, so it's a lot easier. If you don't want to use your fingernail and risk breaking your nail, they have these little openers. I use my fingernail, but they have two of them in this in this bag. So that's nice. So um, let me um, let me let me get my stuff here, and then I will uh, splice up this corner. Okay, so you have this piece right here. Your copper. You want to connect it to the metal in here so the the it doesn't go this way some people do this some people go like this now it will slide in here you can try like what I'm doing right here I'm just sticking it on top rather than sliding it in because it works that way too for for the most part if it doesn't then you'll have to slide it in, but sometimes sliding it in, it doesn't. The your light strip is just bigger, so you, you'll you'll it'll just get you'll just mess it up more, and that part isn't really connecting. So I've found that you can just kind of stick it on the top to see if it works, and for the most part they do, because your light strips are kind of. They're going to be different sizes than what these um, connectors are, just because they're 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 not exactly made for it. So that's connected. So that's connected. Now remember. However, which way you want to figure out to get this correct, the angle that you want this L to go at. Otherwise, because you can put it backwards to where it'll be the opposite, you know? So if you want to go up that wall, it's going to go like that. If you put it the other way, it will be coming this way. So make sure that you get that all squared away. But... If your connection, just take your time. Like that one worked out good. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. Or if it if it shows a different color, like if that will be red and that would show like blue or whatever, it's just that you might not be connected right. So you have four little prongs here. And this one has four prongs, so you want to match up that. You, if, if your light strip has two prongs or three prongs, and this has four prongs, it doesn't even mean it's not going to work, but it's really you kind of want to match it up. You could try it, but because sometimes they work. But like I said, the, I just stuck it on the top. There's these little things that you could these, you, you're, you could slide them in, but if your light strip is bigger, like this light strip here, the light strip, like if I tried to slide that in, going to be going this way. If I tried to slide that in, it, it might you know because the tape, the tape's sticky on that one end, so it can be and you know it could be a nightmare. It could be to where you're just like ah and then you mess that up and then you have it 
going this way. So you're over here frustrated trying to get that in there. What I do, like I did in, in the video, I just start off by sticking it on top. So rather than sliding it in, that's like the last resort. That's if the connection isn't working that well. If it works, when you stick it on like this on top and then just boop, just snap it in, if that works, then that works. That's the, the easiest way. So you don't have to slide it in and they don't always fit because these aren't the same as your light strips. Unless they come with the light strip, that's a different story. Then that would be exactly the same size. But they're not exactly the same. And a little millimeter off with these little things, can it can make a difference. So this one can slide in. It can. Like I just slid it in right there. I just slid that one in. But it, it still... Those right here, I didn't. I just put them on top. But look it, I have my little cut piece and I can do it a lot easier than if I was right there in that corner. So that's kind of a little thing that I figured out when doing a lot of these. It's like, well, I don't have to slide them in. But if you want, go ahead. And that, even if you don't slide them in, it's going to be stuck there anyway. So, you know, you're not going to be trying to yank it off. And it doesn't really make that much of a difference. The clip, when you snap it in, it, it holds it in anyways. So just something to think about. Just something that makes it a little easier for you. But anyways, there you go. These come with the corners and the straights. And then you got your little guitar pick puller. And then you can play some tunes afterwards. So hope this helps. And have yourself a great day.